Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Alright, so from the title, you know we're talking about deep conditioners today. So I wanted to bring you my top five holy grail deep conditioners that I use religiously on my curly hair. Um, so yeah, so let's get started. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Make sure you hit that subscribe button while you're watching this video if you like what you see. I upload videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and now Sundays. So um, I've been actually like waiting to film this video for like two hours. But um, I just got to do what I got to do. So sorry about the background noise. All right. So uh, the first one that I want to talk to you guys about is my top favorite. Like once I found this one, I really have not been using like some of the other ones. But I'm still going to mention them because I do use those as well. And it is the Aunt Jackie's In Control uh, Deep Conditioner. So this is what it looks like. This is the only one that I have right now. So for all the other ones, I'll just put a picture um, right here. But yes, this is my favorite. Oh my God. Like, I love this deep conditioner so much. This is like my third one, I think. And um, the only downside about this uh, deep conditioner is you have to get it online or like at a hair show type thing. Um, I really haven't found it in stores. It does say that it's sold at Walmart, but every time I go to Walmart, I never can find it. So that's the only downside, but if you don't mind buying stuff online or at like hair shows and trade shows, then definitely pick this up. The consistency is so good. It's not too thick but it's not too thin it moisturizes and softens your hair it applies like a dream like as soon as you put it on your hair it just soaks it up and it's so shiny it's easy to detangle once you have it in your hair it just really breaks it down and absorbs so nicely it also uh, tames the frizz and I'm looking at my my phone so if you guys keep seeing me looking down but um, it tames the frizz the smell is so so good I love the smell it's not too overpowering um, and it's, it lingers on in your hair but not in a bad way and then also it comes in this large container this is the biggest deep conditioner um, that I'm going to mention today I can get about four and a half um, uses out of this which is really really good a lot of the other deep conditioners I can probably get about two but this one is double the amount so I really love this this is by Aunt Jackie's you guys should definitely check this out so now the second one my second most favorite is the Shea Moisture Manuka Honey and I'll put a picture right here so I love this mask now this is more of a mask so it's a lot thicker in consistency which is what I like because because it definitely strengthens and restores the hair if you have um, breakage or damage or your hair is dry and brittle then this is the one that you should go to it says it's intense hydration which I really uh, do believe because it is thick in consistency so it will definitely give you that moisture that you're looking for the smell is so good y'all I cannot like I can't even describe the smell you just have to take a whiff like oh. It smells so good. Now this can be found at Target, Walmart, so uh, wherever like Shea Moisture is sold in stores, you can definitely pick that up, which is a plus. So whenever you're running low, you can just head to your local store. You don't have to really wait for like shipping or ordering online. So yeah, and it is inexpensive. I believe it is under $10 if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, definitely try that one out if you're looking for something new to try. Um, I think it's really good for the winter months. Like I said, it is really thick and it'll give you that hydration that your hair needs. Next is the Cream of Nature and this is the Argan Oil by Morocco line. It's right here. You guys have seen me use this in my Straight to Curly video and you guys see the results it glides on like a dream it's kind of a uh, thinner in consistency it's a lot thinner than the shea moisture one but it still has a nice texture to it it glides on the hair like no other and it's easy to detangle so it kind of breaks down those tangles and allows you to really get through your hair 
this also tames the frizz and kind of bring your curls back to life so if you have like little PC um, hairs in between you know what I mean like your curls aren't clumped together it'll definitely uh, clump your curls back together and give you that shine in your hair now the only thing <laughs> and you guys have heard me say this before I'm not really too fond of cream of nature's um, smell it is a little strong for me but you can't deny that the products work amazingly so that's why I keep going back to this over and over again I love the deep conditioner and a lot of their other products as well so deep conditioner number four is Eden Body Works now I use this back in the day and I still go to it from time to time this is the coconut shea and first off the smell you guys know I love coconut so I'm obsessed with that but if you aren't really keen to using coconut uh, oil on your hair you might want to skip this one now this one is also really thick in consistency so you really have to work it into the hair it is going to restore that dryness and give you that moisture so that is what I love about this product um, I definitely use this overnight sometimes to really lock in that moisture if my hair is feeling really really dry it helps my hair detangle this is more so if you really have damaged hair like if you're transitioning or if you have heat damage I would definitely recommend you using the Eden Body Works over some of these other ones because I feel like it's going to allow your curls to really restore and pop if you keep using it once a week and then the last one I want to talk to you guys about is also from Shea Moisture. This is the Super Fruit Complex. It's in a pink jar like this. I really, really love this one. The smell, like I said, again, most of these I love. The smell is out of this world. It's so fruity, so sweet. And so uh, if you don't really like a lot of fruity smells, you might not like this one. But I'm telling you, it smells amazing. It also contains biotin in it, so it helps with the strength of your hair again and also you know biotin is really good to strengthen and help you retain that length so if you're looking for something that contains biotin instead of taking the actual biotin also protects from the UV exposure so I use this one mostly in the summertime when I'm out in the Sun a lot this will definitely protect my hair from getting dry it'll lock in that moisture and just the overall strength of my hair so I really love Shea Moisture as you can see I have two of their products here on my list and a few other ones that I also use religiously so yeah definitely give that one a try as well and the last thing I want to leave you guys with it's not an actual deep conditioner but I talk about it all the time and it is my oil mix I have a few different mixtures that I use in this every week once it gets low I kind of refill it up with different oils this week I have argan oil black Jamaican castor oil shining star from uncle funky's daughter and olive oil in here so I'm just going to kind of quickly go over some of the oils that I put inside my oil mix and some of the oils that you should definitely try on your hair especially if you're a coconut oil sensitive so um, like I said the olive oil argan oil black Jamaican castor oil I use the shining star but shining star has inside of it soybean oil sweet almond oil and jojoba oil just to name a few and then I also like to use coconut oil but that is optional I love to just put a few of those oils in there and then put it throughout my hair every day just massage it in my scalp and throughout the length of my hair and then style how I'm going to style you guys know that I have been washing my hair every night so um, that is what I do after I wash my hair I just put it throughout my scalp and the length of my hair and put my hair in twists or braids and let it air dry overnight so yeah so if you can't really go out you don't have time to go out and buy a deep conditioner oils are also really good for your hair you can use it as a hot oil treatment or just put it on in its regular state without heating it up and it will definitely stimulate your scalp and keep your hair moisturized keep it soft and yeah, so I love using oils if I can't really go to my deep conditioner, but I use that on like a daily basis. 
Now, um, I love deep conditioning. It is really, really essential for your healthy hair. So I would recommend that you deep condition at least once a week. And then, like I said, with the oils, you can kind of do that on a daily basis if you like. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know down below what are your favorite deep conditioners for curly hair. Have you used some of these that are on my list? Let me know if you like them or if you want to give them a try. And yeah, let me know if you guys would like to see a more top uh, fives items video. A lot of you guys compliment me on my lashes all the time, so I would love to do a top five mascaras to share with you guys or like top five leave-in conditioners. So yeah, let me know down below what you would like to see next and I'll see you guys on Sunday. Bye! So as you can see, I scored this whole outfit for $18.70, so I completed the $20 challenge. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. If you would like to see more, don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, and share my videos, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!